So the first question is, the task and duties of the community relations chair entails various social events and abundance of socialization. In the event that VSA can no longer perform their normal meetings, how might your role change in engaging the general body members? So if we are stuck in quarantine a little longer for the next school year, I believe that the possibilities are absolutely endless as there's so many options on the internet. So one way is we can utilize Zoom or Discord, platforms like that. And then some ideas, just to name a few. We could do a game night where we play Club Penguin, Minecraft, Scrumio, Jackbox. Um, we could just have random socialize, so socialization like Zoom meetings, calls, uh, just to talk over like activities such as yoga, we could paint, we can do crafts. Um, or there could be like a just a day where we just eat lunch together and we just talk and socialize. Or we could have like a movie night through a Netflix party. And then another idea is that someone could be like leading like a call where they like teach us how to like cook a certain item or bake a certain item. And then if anything, we could do a TikTok compilation and see who does the best of a certain kind of dance. But yeah, I believe the possibilities are endless if we do convert or continue to go online. So the second question is, what is one idea you'll bring to the table to increase engagement and excitement during GBMs besides icebreakers and energizers? So one idea I had was to ensure that members are paying attention and that they're hyped up, that we have like a trivia at the end of GBM where we pick a random member to answer questions about like the slideshow that we just presented throughout the GBM. And if they get it all right, they can win a prize and the prize can be literally anything. It could be stuffed animals, it could be food, who doesn't like food, but yeah. And then another idea I had was to, was to have like a raffle. So we can do this in like many ways. So one way is just to give everyone a raffle ticket and at the end of GBM we can see, we can pick out a winner and they would get a prize or we could, through involvement, you can earn these raffle tickets. So we could ask a lot of questions throughout our slideshow at GBMs. And then if someone answers, they get a raffle ticket. And then in addition to like winning a prize at the end, the person can have like the spotlight and get asked like three questions of anything that's appropriate. So yeah. So the third question is, do you have any connections in the community already? that would help you with this position? If so, what are they and how could they help? So I have really strong connections with the board members of AB Samahan, Asian Pacific Student Alliance, and the Student Diversity Commission. So since these are like our neighboring cultural organization as state, I could always reach out and ask if they wanna do like a joint social or an event. And if we ever need any advice or any suggestions, how to like work a certain event, or if we have an issue, I could always reach out to them and ask if they have ha ever had this occurrence and what they did. And then what's so good about having like a strong connection with the Student Diversity Commission is that not only does it compose of all the Asian American cultural organizations as state, but it, cr but it also includes all of the cultural organizations. So there's a large variety of diversity within just that org alone. And then also I have friends that are in VIA. I don't personally know VIA, but I can always reach out to the friends that are in it. And when, the, when they do have like their thought fest or when they have their street cleanup, I could always reach out to my friends and ask if they need volunteers. And then in addition to more volunteer events, as the Lieutenant Governor, I had a strong connection with the March of Babies Foundation. And basically this, this um, foundation is like a charitable walking event. So it's kind of like, like a running marathon, but instead you walk and you kind of raise awareness about premature births and birth defects and infant mortality. So yeah, and then I also have experience in registering clubs for rock and roll marathon, hot chocolate run, and then also the San Diego Food Bank. So if we ever needed a community service organization, I could always try to see if these, or these organizations are looking for volunteer volunteers as well. 